Hi, I'm Ben. Hey, I'm Miguel. And this is Edge EDU. Today we're going to cover installing packing, setting the preload on the packing, and installing the plunger. Awesome. Well, let's take a look and see what we need. So these are going to be the main components required to pack a pump. First off, you're going to need your packing set, and that includes your junk ring, your header ring, two pressure rings in this case, an adapter, and your wiper seal. Now, configurations could change based on the type of pump that you're currently using. We're also gonna need our packing nut, our plunger, plunger clamp, along with the tools, which will require us to use a 3 8 Allen, possibly a seal pick, and our packing board. You'll also need some type of lubricant for your packing, along with a marker to set the preload, and of course, our packing lock. Safety is always number one. Ensure you're wearing your PPE before starting any task. Excellent, well, let's get started. Let's do it. We'll start by installing the packing. We wanna make sure that we lubricate each piece of packing before we install it. We'll start with the junk ring. And then go to the header ring. We'll install the pressure ring next, followed by either another pressure ring or a peak adapter, depending on which type of packing you're using. And then we'll install the brass adapter. This packing doesn't include a lantern ring as it's built into the packing nut. We'll then install the wiper ring into the packing nut. We wanna make sure that the lip is facing the pressure if we're running an oil system, or the lip is facing away from the pressure if we're running a grease system. Next, we'll lubricate the threads of the packing nut and the threads inside of the block. We'll install the packing nut, running it all the way in by hand, and then using the packing bar to tighten it against the packing. Note that we don't have the plunger installed yet as we're setting the preload on the packing. We'll tighten it up using one hand, and then we'll make a mark with a marker at the 12 o'clock position on both the fluid end and the nut. We'll then back the nut off three quarters of a turn. And install the plunger. When we're installing the plunger, we want to use an aluminum bar. We want to make sure that we're not using a steel bar so we don't damage the end of the plunger. We'll then tighten the packing nut back within an eighth of a turn of the original mark. With the plunger completely against the pony rod, we'll install the plunger clamp. We want to make sure that the bolts are accessible through the stay rods, so we'll turn it at about a 45 degree angle. Lastly, we'll install the packing nut lock to complete the process. Well, that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Technical Services. We can find additional information and in links below. We'll see you next time.